this is Eric at Archive Garage. Uh, this is my friend's 2003 Axis Cab Tundra, and I love it. I miss mine. Um, but he bought the rear suspension the way it is currently. He didn't do any mods to it. And it has um, a helper leaf uh, added on top of the pack. And then it also has a competitor product, uh, the Sumo Springs. And what we're going to do is compare um, the up travel to our U-Bolt flip kit later on. And uh, we're going to show the difference in travel and decide whether the Sumo Spring is a product that would be good for off-road use. Okay? So we're going to lift this up and check the articulation. So uh, let's do that now. Right now we've got, for me, for my eye, we're at three inches from the bottom of this flare to the tread, top tread of the tire, okay? That's with no weight in the back of the truck other than the cap. So with a, almost 1,100 pounds of leaf springs and pallet in there, plus the weight of the cap, we've only gone up a half inch in compression. It's at two and a half. If you can, this right here lines up with the very top of the tire. So take a look at the difference in the height here. Okay, this is a bump stop and this is an auxiliary spring. When you're building an off-road truck especially, but also an on-road truck, you need bump travel. Your rig needs that, okay? And this doesn't have it. It's a huge compromise. And that's where beefing up your leaf springs with a proper bump stop is the right solution. And this is something else. Okay, so now we have the Archive Garage Stealth HD U-Bolt Flip option three installed with our bump stop okay um, we pulled that helper leaf out of there but that wasn't affecting anything really um, here we have a 265 70 16 uh, 30.5 inch diameter so that's the stock size okay um, and yeah the the leaf pack is back to stock all right um, let's take a look here underneath so we'll just show you the option three kit so here's our option three kit installed you can see the ground clearance from the u-bolts got that clamshell out of there and our axle to the bottom of the frame up there measurement is 9.5 inches and that includes the weight of the cap Our measurement now this is less than one it's less than one inch it's about seven eighths of an inch um, to the top of the tread from that wheel arch so that is stuffing in here pretty good with not much weight and our bump stop underneath is touching um, and starting to compress okay so um, yeah there's so that's a good good difference there it's over two inches if you were running the Sumo Spring to, to running our Option 3. Um, so that's a lot of flexibility off-road. That's a lot of your capability that you're throwing away um, if you're using the Sumo Springs. So, and that's, as we saw, uh, two and a half inches 
it went to when we had 1,100 additional pounds added, you know, actually centered behind the rear axle. So even with all that weight, it still didn't flex. So pretty revealing. Check out archivegarage.com for products that work very well off-road, but also work excellent on-road as well, especially if you're towing or something or you're, you're hauling heavy loads with your truck. Um, so, you know, our products make the truck uh, compliant. They, make, they give you confidence in your driving experience with the truck, and it just lets you push the truck harder. Um, you know, and, and comfort too. You know, this is this is actually a softer engagement than stock. So you're getting you're getting a lot of benefit from this, not to mention the ground clearance under the axle. I mentioned it. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Check out Archive Garage. Thank you.